what's up guys I uh, got another DVD update for you starting with the cable guy it's uh, probably my second favorite Jim Carrey flick uh, with Eternal Sunshine and Spotless Mind being the first and Ace Ventura being the third and uh, this is probably the last comedy he did before he started doing more serious roles and for some reason uh, doesn't seem to be that popular at least it wasn't popular when it came out and I hardly hear anyone talk about it nowadays and um, I think it might be because this one's a little bit <clears throat> darker than um, his usual comedy fare um, only because it's sort of like a a bittersweet story it's about this uh, cable guy who's um, he's a lonely guy and uh, he Matthew Broderick calls him up for cable uh, one day and then it's like he's just he gets really clingy and you know wants to be his friend and um, it's just a bunch of funny antics you know them trying to befriend him and stay his friend and um, you know he gets a little annoying after a while to Matthew Broderick's character so you know he tries to like maybe distance himself and you know he kind of causes cause a few disasters and things like that and then when Matthew Broderick gets fed up he sort of like doesn't want to be his friend anymore and then that's when <clears throat> Jim Carrey starts getting a little psycho not like uber psycho just you know mildly psycho in a funny way a funny you know harmless way um, relatively harmless but uh, yeah uh, it's got no features um, but you know it was it was like 12 bucks and I, I only found it uh, at Blockbuster, I couldn't find anywhere else, so I had to get it. Um, next, I got the flashback editions of Sixteen Candles and the Breakfast Club. And I'm sure most people have seen these already, so I won't even talk about the stories or anything. But it's got all new special features. After a while, like we just had those bare bones editions with no features. Um, yeah, the Sixteen Candles has um, let me see a ten-part documentary featuring interviews with cast members as they discuss their experiences in making this quintessential quintessential coming-of-age teen comedy filmmakers such as Amy Heckerling, who did Fast Times at Richmond High, Clueless, Look Who's Talking, um, <clears throat> Diablo Cody, who did Juno reflect on the cultural impact of the film and how director John Hughes revolu revolutionized the entire teen comedy genre. And The Breakfast Club has um, Sincerely Yours, a 12-part documentary with uh, Judd Nelson, Anthony Michael Hall, Ali Sheedy, and other cast members reflect on the making of the film that defined an entire generation, revisit the unforgettable characters and music plus here filmmakers such as Amy Eklund, da 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 Diablo as they discuss the cultural resonance of the film. And then there's the most convenient definition is the origins of the Brat Pack. Cast members, journalists, and film historians discuss the Brat Pack label and its impact on pop culture in the group's careers. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, feature commentary with Judd Nelson, Anthony Michael Hall, and um, some other moderator. Uh, they don't mention his name on the box, but um, it's like those two and a moderator and um, I think it's like the guy who produced the the uh, documentary so um, the documentaries are pretty good they're all like maybe an hour combined or all together so and, and you know they go pretty in depth with it and uh, it's worth the price I mean I got these for uh, 10 bucks at Target so uh, it's well worth the price. Well worth the money if you like those movies. If you're in the John Hughes. And um, the FYE and Borders today. We got, let's see, got Stepfather 2 at Borders. Um, I haven't seen this in a long time, so I can't really tell you much about the plot except uh, he somehow survives his. Um, death from the first one and marries into a new family this time with a young son played by Jonathan Brandis and um, <clears throat> he takes a job as like a therapist or a family therapist 
Uh, it's kind of ironic because he might need a little therapy himself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't remember much about the storyline besides, you know, it being sort of a rehash of the first one. Um, I remember liking it, not as much as the first one, but, you know, close enough. And uh, I remember it being, like, campier and a little bit cheesier, but in a good way. And it's got special features, let me see, special features include... And more widescreen, da, 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 da. Um, audio commentary with director Jeff Burr and producer producer Darren Scott. I think Jeff Burr did um, <clears throat> Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre three. Um, and I haven't watched this yet, so if you've seen this DVD or seen the features, you know, let me know what you think about it. In the comments. Um, <laughs> all new feature at the Stepfather Chronicles: Daddy's New Home. Uh, alternate deleted scenes without optional audio commentary, still gallery, theatrical trailers. Uh, that's about it. 